Hello, it's Heather here of Ascension Explorers. I'm just doing a short intro into the communication from the Council of Many that came through at the Rotorua Spiritual Church recently on July the 8th, 2012. It's a very powerful um, communication and it's very specific to New Zealand and to Rotorua. And it's something that I feel that um, people will enjoy because of its specific nature in talking to New Zealand. Don't make any apology that the council come through very loudly, very boldly at times. They are a very large group. And when they first started communicating through Lou, she had to tell them just to funnel through the one energy voice because there were so many, many of them. The theme is about the shakes and the shifts that New Zealand will continue to experience and that New Zealand's landscape may well change quite significantly over the next period of time. This is information that's given not to scare people, but to prepare people for the ongoing changes that are coming about now. We are in quite significant times of shift. There are dates being given, 2015, 2017 and 2030. And we've been asked to mark these years, but also to be aware that these dates can be delayed or brought forward depending on where our own consciousness is. The message was also given to those of you who are quiet, yet see and know and are experiencing things but are not speaking out your truth. It is time now for you to stand and speak the truth of that which you know. There was talk of the magnetic grid lines and the ley lines that were crossing those in a particular part of Rotorua. And uh, we had some people afterwards come up to us and say that this was confirmation of information they had been given by other sources previously. It was a really interesting evening and I thank, you, thank all of those that were present. But in essence, the true theme is the message that it is really time New Zealand for us to be unified in peace and to lay aside all our differences and to work together in community and to start to communicate with each other and the beings and Gaia and the elementals in a way that is honouring of self and each other. I hope you enjoy this communication and if you want any more information about anything that we bring forward just visit our website ascensionexplorers.com and feel free to email us with any questions. Understand, Thank you. humans, that you are in a place of greatness. We rise and we stand as that which is the council of many, and we address you not as humans but as equals, because time is now at hand. You have claimed this year of 2012 as being the year for you of finality, of being at that place of cusp, of edge, of difference. <coughs> And yet we would say your year of 13, of 2013, is perhaps more powerful, more intense and more united than this year will ever be. This is the year of the close of chapter. This is the year of the cleansing. This is the year where you will release from yourself that which is unnecessary. And each one of you will begin to step into yourselves and into your paths more deeply and more <coughs> fine-tuned. You are becoming the community that many will look at. You are becoming to stand as that community, not of people groups where you live and you desire to be in the little pockets that is old. Your community is a community of heart. Your community is a community of openness. Your community is a community where you stand as one. And you say, we are and we shall. There are those of you that sit amongst this here. And you hide in the shadows. Because you say, who am I that I would stand and I would take position. That would walk slightly ahead. We say you are the one that you have been waiting for. Now is not the time to worry and to quibble about who will lead and who will follow. It is time to stand in a unified front, showing a strength 
Do not consider yourself weak. Do not consider yourself to be less than. For you are indeed mighty. You are indeed that which is the answers that this place, this town has been looking for. Many of you are in positions of influence. You need to begin to influence those areas around you for change. Because this nation that you live in, this town that you reside in is going to change. But it can only change for that which is coming into this realm and into this place of being by that which is done here in the smaller placements and then ripples out. And we the council would say to you this, we are not talking of what you humans would call a governmental realms. We are talking human realms. We are talking energy realms. Begin now to change the realm you are in. Begin now to change the realm that you sit in at this moment. And you do that by connecting to Gaia. You do that by connecting to the universe and all that is around her. And as you do this, you begin to sense and you begin to see the clarity of vision. You begin to see and you begin to know what is to happen. Your land has been shaken, and your land has been, shall we say, tossed. And this we will give you. Your South Island will no longer be steady and sure. Your South Island potentially has a great <coughs> hole appearing in it. A hole that will swallow up many if they do not <coughs> listen. Your North Island has been shaken. Your North Island has always been shaken. But this shaking is to rise. The shaking is to lift it. The shaking is to make it become what it should be and should have always been. The fuller part. That part which would support and nourish You are in the right place. For the heart is always connected to the lungs. The lungs are always connected to every part that reaches out. <coughs> and if you are in the place where you believe you are meant to be, then you will understand that you are connected to the many chakra systems of this planet. But understand that each chakra system is for a definite grid line. And through this particular town lie three very strong magnetic grid lines. Across them at right angles sits ley lines, <coughs> energy lines of great power. <coughs> there is a place that resonates with energy and becomes, how do you say, alive with the liquid that flows from beneath it. In the waters of this place. These waters are symbolic. These waters are that which is your home. Not the land. <coughs> the waters. And it is in these waters that you find the answers and the solutions to many things. It is time to look to the old ways. Not to stay, but to find the solution for this day. For this moment you are in. And yet we would also say, now is also the time to release yourself from that which is the third dimensional frequency. And step into that which is the higher frequencies. Where you begin to vibrate and to begin to sound and resonate at a frequency level that is more than just earthly. It is interdimensional. Because as you begin to do this, 
as you begin to telepathically communicate not only with yourselves, but with the other beings that are here walking and working with you, you begin to see there is no difference. There is no separation. There is no fence between you. When is humanity going to wake up and realize that you are identical? If you can see beyond your differences and see that you are only the same, then you will begin to cause to come together a strength and a unified being that works with Gaia and the elementals and all that are with her. And she begins to work with you. And what power and what unity and what peace will resonate within that landmass. And this is the message. This is the time. This is your moment, human, to rise and to be the unified peace, to lay aside all the differences. And this is a message that you've been hearing many, many times. Understand that we are observing many things at this moment. Right now, above your nation, there are many things that are occurring. Many things are beginning to stir. Many things are beginning to open up within the very energy of your nation. The birthing of the energy that is going to be deposited at the closure of what you call 2012 and for the birthing of the new dawn of the golden age that time, that energy space that is creative that energy space that is birthing many new things even as we speak the potentials of each one of you begins to rise within frequency Understand that yes, many of you have studied the stars and you have studied many of the great things that have been handed down for you. And you have placed yourself under the leadership of many wise beings for this great time. And yet we would say to you there are even greater times coming. There are years yet to be experienced within your linearity of humanity that we would say to mark. And three of these years would be 2015, 2017 and 2030. Mark these years. 2015, in the middle of this year, a remarkable energy is going to shift in this nation first. It will be as if you are spun off your equilibrium. It will bring a clarity and a disturbance to those who do not understand, a clarity to those who do. 2017 will bring an equal and opposite spinning in the opposite side of the planet, which will bring a healing for this land and this part of Gaia. But for two years, there will be differences and tearings within this lower region of the Southern Hemisphere. Not to bring disruption and pain and separation, but to bring a clearing and a clarity that is going to establish the new set way of being. And we are not talking of the new orders. We are not talking of new world systems. We are talking of energy of coming into place, of creating templates, of creating ways of being that need to be established. And the separation that you see will be from those who do not move forward and those who do. And you will see groups of people separating. 
you will see peoples moving away from individuals. Those who you would swear would never ever speak ill of each other will begin to speak ill. Why? Because of the energy that is coming. Because it will build and it will create a new way of being that is for the highest and highest established good of these people on this planet as well as the cosmic order. 2030 is the beginning of many blissful, blissful years where you will forget what it is like to be old. You will forget what it is like to be ill. You will forget to be in an understanding and concept of lack. Because this will begin for you humans a time of bliss. Where everything comes into order. And you begin to see the reality of moving into ascension. And this is just three years, or three dates that I will give you. That we have permission to give and share with you. Hold these dates. Because you will see them come to pass. The only reason if they do not come to pass is because humanity has moved at such frequent changes that it is either brought forward or delayed. We would like to think it is brought forward. Because you are master creators. You are master beings. Step into the fullness of who you are, my friends. You are indeed great and wonderful creatures. Connect in your energetic forms to the realms that you know you can connect to and start to bring the downloads. Start to connect to all that is the crystalline energy. You do not need those from outside. You do not need those from the far off countries coming and saying, this is what should happen in New Zealand. Why? Because you have your own. You have the ones that sit amongst you. And so we are the council and we have now spoken. And we have brought clarity and we have brought a little confusion. And this is good. Because if we spoon feed, then there is no growth. But now you will go and you will think. And you will have questions. And you will have answers. Because we will give answers. We are the council. And we have shared what we share. Because we are in a place of co-creation with you. We thank you.